Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Bex and I'm mum to Finley, who's nine months old, and I make parenting, lifestyle, and motherhood after and fertility videos, and I upload every Monday. So if you like those sorts of things, then hit subscribe so you know when my videos go up. So this week's video is all about old man baby names. Last week I did old lady baby names, and so it seemed to be quite successful, so I thought I would have a go with the old man names. So I'll just get on into it then. These names are using the UK baby names list of 2016, which was published last year, and is what everyone tends to use to rank names along. So my first name on the list is Clifford, which is number 2,556 on the list, which means that only eight babies last year were named this. I think this is a great old man name. I think it could be shortened to Cliff, and I think it just is one of your classic old man names, really. My second name on the list is Franklin. Uh, that's number 1,319 on the list, which means that only 20 babies were named this last year. I think it sounds great as Franklin. I think it has real presence as a name and it could easily be shortened to Frank. Um, my next name on the list is Edmund. I've loved this name since I was little. Um, when I read The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe and one of the children in that story was um, named Edmund. Um, he was the boy who eats the Turkish delight that the White Witch gives him. Uh, if you like the name Edmund, it's number 691 on the list, which means that 50 babies were named this last year. The next name on my list is Josiah, which is number 280 on the list, which is a lot higher up than I expected it to be, to be honest. But again, I think it's quite um, a Victorian sounding old man name and sounds quite a serious, um, strong sort of name as well. What do you think about it? Uh, the next name on the list is probably, I think other people will like this and I like it, but probably more for the middle name sort of spot. I don't know if I'd be quite brave enough to use it as a first name. That's Digby. Uh, it's number 1,234 on the list which means that 22 babies were named this last year. My next name on the list is Heston. It's number 2,175 on the list, which means that only 10 babies were named this last year. You've also got Heston Blumenthal, who's made sort of, the name uh, a bit more widely known. Next on the list is a complete classic, and that's Graham. This is now number 2,175 on the list. So only 10 babies were named Graham last year, which I grew up with loads of Grahams. So it just shows you how a name can fall out of favour in, in a generation, really. Um, I love the fact that you could shout this to grey, which, you know, it's the colour of the decade. So gaining in real popularity is a name in its own right. Next name on the list is Larry. You could have the formal name of Lawrence and shorten to Larry, but if you were just going for Larry itself, it's number 2027 on the list which means that only 10 babies were named this last year. This next name is one of a pair of names that feature in one of my favourite books, which is the Foresight Saga, um, the two characters from it. Um, and this name is Jolion, which is J-O-L-Y-O-N, and is number 4,810 on the list, which means that only three babies were named this last year. I think it's great if you love the name John, but you already have that name within your family, or you feel you want an old man name that's a lot more sort of rare and unique. The next name on my list is Morris, spelled M-O-R-R-I-S, as in the classic car. Um, I love this, I think it's very British sounding, and I just, I think it rolls quite nicely as a name. It's number 1,157 on the list, which means 24 babies were named this last year. If you love rare, unique old man names, then how about Giles? That's number 2,335 on the list, which means that nine babies were named this last year. I think Giles is a very classic sound name, quite aspirational, and I've only ever met one in my life. I think it's a lovely name. I'm hearing this name a little bit more, which is Wilbur. Uh, Wilbur is number 571 on the list, which means that 65 babies were named this last year. So it is gaining in popularity, but it's still relatively 
down on the list. Okay, this name will probably divide opinion. It's a bit of a Marmite name, but that name is Percy. Uh, Percy is number 486 on the list, which means that 83 babies were named this last year. So it is starting to rise in popularity. And I, I think it's one of those names that does divide opinion. I quite like it, but I don't know if I'd be brave enough to use it. The next name on my list is a quite a literary sounding name, which is Edgar. If anyone knows Wuthering Heights, then one of the characters was Edgar Linton in the book. And I think it's an old man name, but probably one that's quite a Victorian sounding old man name. It's number 726 on the list, which means 47 babies were named this last year. A name that's close to my heart is my granddad's name, which is Jimmy. It's number 319 on the list, which means 151 babies were named this last year. I think it's great if you wanted to use James as the formal name and refer to the baby as Jimmy. Um, I think it's got sort of character and a bit of a cheekiness about it as well. But if you like traditional old man names, then maybe Seth is for you. That's number 107 on the list. So starting to sort of get towards the top 100 and 611 babies were named this last year. Another name from the Foresight Saga that I'd mentioned earlier on is Soames, uh, spelled S-O-A-M-E-S, -E and it's not even ranking yet. So another one of those sort of literary names that has quite an aspirational feel about it, quite classic. Earlier on I referred to the name Morris, um, which is also a type of classic car, and Austin is another one that's quite a vintage sort of car, but I, th I think still has that great old man feel. Austin is definitely now fairly and squarely within the top 100, ranking at number 85. Um, I did wonder whether to add it into this list just because all the other names I've chosen are so rare or unique and I haven't picked a top 100 name for this list. But I think it fits in perfectly with the other names and so I think it was important to note it. My next name on the list is Simeon which is a lot more rare than I thought it would be, which is number 801 on the list, which means 40 babies were named this last year. If you like a cheeky, sort of characterful old man name, then Clyde could be the one for you. It's number 2,556, and eight babies were named this last year. And my last name on the list is Lloyd. Um, it's number 833, I once taught a student called Lloyd and loved his name and thought he really suited it. I think it's great as it can has real presence. I think um, a boy can carry it off and an adult as well. And 38 babies were named this last year. I hope you've enjoyed my old man baby name list. If you have, then please don't forget to hit subscribe for more baby name videos. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.